Let's use this picture as inspiration to research in Michigan compiled laws annotated. I am protecting his identity to avoid a lawsuit. Okay, let's assume you are in Michigan representing this man. The Department of Natural Resources for Michigan is accusing him of uh, violating the law for using a crossbow to get this fish. So you as the attorney need to research this issue and see if the DNR, the Department of Natural Resources, really has that right. So let's get right into Michigan Compiled Laws. Here is the bookshelf of them. We're going to go through six steps to research in the MCLA. Now look at chart 5.1 in your workbook. We're going to work through six steps, and I'll show you the six steps here uh, in the bookshelf. First, we're going to use the general index to find any statutes on point. That will take us to step two, a main volume of the MCLA. And then from there, we will, re we will update our research to make sure that what we found in the main volume is up to date by going to step three, looking at the pocket part in the main volume. Then step four, we will look at the Michigan Legislative Service to update our statutory text. Step five, we will look online to see any of the latest law that has come out from Lansing, from the Capitol. That is step five. And then step six, we will end our research in the MCLA by looking at the interim annotation service. And that is to get the most current annotations to our statute. Here is one volume of the general index. I grabbed A2L because when I did my plug for this, in a brainstorm search terms, I decided to go with fish and game. So we can open up the general index, and what do you know, there is fish and game. Now as we turn the page here, we'll find bow and arrow, chapter 324, section 48703. So we will now go into the main volume, which takes us to step two of the process for researching MCLA. You can see from the spine here, chapter 324 and section 48703 is in this volume. So let's turn to that chapter and section. So this section says that a person shall not take, that shall should be a must, of course, a person shall not take, catch, or kill, or attempt to take, catch, or kill a fish in the waters of this state with a spear or grab hook, snag hook, or gaff hook, by use of jack or artificial light. Man, no fun at all. No firearm or explosive substance. But no mention of a, of a crossbow. In fact, over here in subsection 3, it says a spear or bow and arrow. Okay, no in mention of a crossbow, but a bow and arrow may be used from April 1 to May 31 in the Lower Peninsula. And then there's separate rules for the UP. So now as we turn the page and look at the other sections here, there's nothing uh, on point. There's nothing that prohibits using a crossbow. So then what do we do? Are we done researching? No. You know there are four other steps we need to go through. What we're looking at may not be the most current law. So let's go to step three. Step three is to look in the pocket part that is in the back of this main volume that we've been looking in. And you can see from the librarian stamp here that this pocket part is current as of April 2012. So let's look in that to see what has changed since April 2012. So it does look like there have been some changes. You can see that the underlying text means that the text has changed. Anything with the asterisks means that sections have been deleted, but I don't see anything about a crossbow here. So we're going to go on to step four of researching in the MCLA. Step four is to look in the Michigan Legislative Service and this will give us the latest changes to the statutory text. We will not find the latest annotations here, just the latest changes to the statutory text. Now we do that by using this table in the back of this pamphlet. It's called the Statutes Added, Amended, Repealed, etc. table. And we can look here and find our statute our statute is chapter 324, 48703, and you can see there there's a note that it's been amended by Public Act 245. So we will then go find that Public Act 245 because 
the laws in this legislative service pamphlet are listed chronologically. As they come out of the legislature in Michigan, they throw them into this pamphlet. So you don't find them by subject matter, rather you find them um, by the public act. So we're going to go look for public act 245 and we'll see what changes have been made since the printing of the pocket part in the volume. So here we are looking at the Michigan Legislative Service pamphlet and looky looky wouldn't you know it under subsection 3 the department may issue an order to regulate the taking of fish with a spear, bow, and arrow or crossbow in the waters of this state. Darn it for our client. So that's not good for our client but I'm doing this to show you how um, helpful these paper or the print versions can be. You see here we have the, the changes and they're very clear for us. You can see with the underlying text there that the legislature uh, changed this statute. Where online you don't get that. Okay, When you do an electronic searching you don't get that. So that's the benefit of searching in print. So now we're going to go to step five. We want to go online now and see if anything has changed since this uh, legislative pamphlet. So let's go to step five and you see here under MCL section we will put in the chapter and section that we found you know chapter 324 section 48703 and then that will take us to the statutory text that is current as of today and it's confirmed do you see here sub 3 that crossbow is now part of the statute now you know there are no underlining here or asterisks or anything like that like there were in the print so to tell that this has been updated you can scroll down here to the bottom and see the history and it says that it's been changed and that change is effective July 2nd 2012 and that is before our client got into trouble okay and then finally step 6 we want to see if there are any cases that have interpreted this section with the crossbow in it. You know, maybe a, a court has found it unconstitutional or something like that. I highly doubt it because litigation takes a long time and six months for the uh, statute to go into effect and to have a ruling from an appellate court is uh, just unheard of. So we're probably not going to find anything, but let's look anyway. So here is the Michigan Compiled Laws Annotated Interim Update Service. You look at this to find updates to the annotations that are cases that have recently interpreted your statutory section. And we see here that this thing was published in October of 2012. Uh, there's just not going to be anything in here on our crossbow subject. So then the other thing, the next thing, as part of this step would be to look at cases online at the state courts website and if we do that we won't find anything either. So that does it for our six steps to uh, researching in the MCLA.